Hi there, I've just spent the weekend in the UK city of Sheffield and while I was there I went along to the excellent Meadow Hall shopping centre and while I was there I thought with all the new March Lego releases it would be terribly rude if I didn't go downstairs and pay a visit to the wonderfully friendly Sheffield Lego brand store. With Mother's Day in the UK coming up in a week's time and Easter only a few weeks after that, all of the window space had been given over to Easter and flower related sets. But before I show you what I bought, if you go on to like this video, please do click the thumbs up and of course subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of more LEGO videos. But onto the LEGO purchases. Now as I'm all about the minifigures, I instantly spotted the two boxes just inside the door, one of a minifig child dressed up as a purple flower and the other of a minifig Easter bunny with a new torso print. So I grabbed one of each of those and carried on looking. The main display inside was of course the new ginormous Rivendell set. It did look amazing with some very clever building techniques. They were displaying it in two parts but definitely the standout feature is that amazing roof. The building itself has five really nice printed light grey statue minifigures. It also comes with 15 other character minifigures bringing the total to a whopping 20 minifigures. Just below that all important New Year parade set with the purple air tanks and the purple classic space helmet I found a New Year Parade minifig pack, so I grabbed myself one of those. They also had two packs of birthday minifigures, which included some exclusive parts, so I also grabbed myself one of each of those. I was tempted by the new Harry Potter house banner sets, but they were quite a lot for what you get, so I'm going to wait until they've been out a bit longer and see if I can get them when they're discounted. There was a huge display of all the flower sets on the inside, and I did get Mrs. Minifig Jez this heart wreath ornament, as she's been wanting to build it for a while now. They were really well stocked with all the LEGO City sets, and I decided to get the new mobile police dog training set, mainly because it's got this awesome police minifigure using those cactus arm pieces as padded arms, and of course the new mini Alsatian puppy. I did see the new Disney 100 brick heads, however I just pre-ordered a box of the new Disney 100 minifigures, which are out next month, so I left this one for now. I then picked up the new creator 3-in-1 cozy house, because I plan on modifying it in a future video. But then came my favourite part of the visit, checking out the very well stocked pick and build wall. I got lots of the green flower stems, some olive stems with three leaves on top, lots of green leaf plates, some of the tall olive green grass stems and a bunch of 1x4 tan masonry bricks which will all eventually go into my Lego city. So here I am now back home and I've got a couple of other things that I didn't actually film in the store. Firstly in one of my pick and brick cups I also managed to stuff a whole load of 8x8 tan plates and a little shout out to Matt who I also met at the pick and brick wall who just visited Bricktastic and was telling me all about it and he has been inspired to make his Lego city with Mills plates so he was picking up a lot of these too. And then as I was checking out Katie who served me pointed out that if I spent a few extra pounds I could get the gift with purchase. So I bought the new Lego City electric car and got the really cool icons moving truck for free. Which one of all these do you think was my best purchase? Let me know in the comments below. If you've liked this video please do give it a thumbs up and of course please subscribe for more Lego videos.